what's up what's up what's up y'all welcome back to the channel uh i'm in a rush like that's why i'm like kind of like scattered right now because i was like to bend up but i was like okay i'm gonna take my time because i gotta i'm basically about to go like to go see my friend and i gotta drive like hour so i'm like okay i need to like get my life together so i'm not late and oh my god like i'm gonna get there on time it's just i was like oh i really want to do my makeup because I really don't ever get a chance to like do my makeup and like actually like go out and be in my makeup like a lot of times like i'm doing my makeup and it's like nighttime and like i hate that because i love going down my makeup looks so i was like okay well since i'm already gonna be out like i might as well do a makeup look what's going on my brow i don't and i'm just using uh the got to be uh ultra glue gel this is just, I don't even know. I, you get it from Beast Buster. I didn't even know what it was called. I didn't know that it was a black one. I'm just using the spoolie that I got from Beast Buster to brush through it. And yeah, I'm gonna do like, I think I'm gonna do a blonde moment right here. But I wanna go ahead and do like the gel first. And I'm gonna let it, uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and sit. I like already like set my stuff out because I'm like, I got to, I ain't got time to be like running through. I mean, like stumbling through all my stuff, fumbling, whatever the world. Like as you can tell, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. So I'm using the uh Glisten Cosmetics Blonde uh what's it called the Spectral Lash. It's a mascara, but I use it for my brows. And I'm taking my Juvia's Place Concealer in the seven. So I'm just taking an angle brush and going in between my eyebrow slit. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put like some gems down, but I might wait to like the end. And I just do that to make sure that like, it's a little bit crispier. And I'm taking my uh, Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 11. So I'm using the concealer as an eyeshadow base too. Oh yeah, I was like, wait, why am I doing this? But I know why, I know why, I know why. Uh, I think I'm gonna try these new brushes I got from Ulta yesterday. Because since it's my birthday month, like I get double the points. So I was like, let me go ahead because I'm not gonna be able to go any other time before the month ends but i got these real techniques uh these are limited edition uh pastel pop brush brush set so i got the plump up base set and as you can see these are like do you see how they're shaped and it also comes with like a little spatula so like when i like mix like stuff for my makeup looks like they don't help so much because i sleep do need one and i'm glad that i have one now and yeah like i have to show y'all the actual brushes but then I also got the uh, Frosted Lids I set, and it comes with a like mini like curler, eyelash curler too. And I think it's so cool. Like, I'm a sucker for brush. I'm a textured person and like, I just love this. Like, this makes me so happy. Like, I love when makeup is fun. This brush is a little hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I probably should use this for like maybe like on my nose or something because baby they ain't finna do nothing I'm not finna sit here and waste my time right now. I just need something that's gonna cover a big area. This is too big of an area for their little brush. That's really what it is. Like that probably good be good like when I'm trying to get like in my like in the corner like underneath my eye or like when I do my uh like contour like what I just actually did like but that and uh on the bridge of my nose and stuff but for this big old eye space no it's not for me i just i got concealer on my brow look i'm taking my rcma no color powder and i'm just taking this to sit my eyes So my vision is to do like, it's still gonna give like 
face paint. I just saw this bird just like fly up by my window. But yeah, I don't know. It just, I had this vision and I was like, <laughs> that makes me sound like fucking crazy. But no, like I was like sitting here and I was like, I should really do my makeup because I just haven't been able to like wear my makeup out. And like, I'm talking about like a look, look, like, because I do all these crazy looks. They're not necessarily crazy, but like they're not your like everyday makeup look that you know you see all the time. But I don't always get to go out in public and just you know wear it out. And I feel like you know I need to put it on and go out. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's the hard to hold on. But anyways, I need to do my eyes like for real, for real. I'm slightly irritated because my brow looks so off because of the concealer and i'm having to like redo it take your time people don't rush like me i just have to i'm tippy i'm not gonna take the eye brush set real quick real quick okay so now i'm taking the in the new eyeshadow palette and this is from jadora cosmetics and i don't want to do like anything too crazy but i'm gonna take this like lighter brown shade and this is the uh blended brush from that set I saw that earlier. And I'm literally just going to put this like in my crease type bag. Oh my god. I feel like I did not do my base how I need to do my base and I don't know why I'm trying to like rush and do this look. Like, I just, I feel like I needed to, I need to do it. And now I'm getting stressed out. I'm getting overstimulated and overwhelmed because I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm like, is it worth it? Like, am I finna like sit here and do my makeup and it's gonna look bad? Like, because I don't, I don't have time for that. And it's gonna like cause me to get overstimulated because I already get anxiety about like social interactions and I hate when my makeup does not look good when I'm trying to go out. Like, it be pissing me off. Like, why it look good when I'm not going to wear? I'm gonna just take the About Face uh, Fractal Eye Paint in All About the Benjamins because, yeah, I don't know what else to do at this point. I'm still, I'm putting some on the back of my hand because I feel like when I apply, like, look at, like, products like this, I feel like they look a little bit better and they don't irritate my eyes as much. It's putting it like straight on. This is the uh, Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer. And it's supposed to be hydrating and what is it? Refreshing? Yeah. It is. It is. I don't know why. I just want to use this one today. Cause I used my other one, my smooth effects yesterday or the other day when I did my makeup. So I want to use a different one. I like to switch it up. I don't like trying, like sometimes like I'll be using the same foundation or the same like primer or whatever, like 24 seven. And I love my different like products and stuff, but sometimes I like to like actually like just switch it up, like try different ones or like be like, okay, there was a reason why this was my favorite like a while ago. And I, the only reason why I like, it's not my favorite now is because I got something new and I that I really like and I'm using it a lot. But I'm trying to make my uh, makeup favorites video, so that's another reason why I'm trying to, you know, figure out like what is my favorite, like which one do I generally like more. I like how this one feels like. Like this is like one that I would use like on an everyday type basis. But I'll explain more in the video. I'm taking my About Face, the Performer Foundation in D3 Neutral. And I love that it's actually like a doe foot applicator. Like it feels so nice putting this on my face. Oh my gosh. But the only thing is like, I feel like that's a great personal like foundation. But uh, if I was doing like clients, like I probably would not get that one just because like I wouldn't want to put their doe foot like on everybody's face. Unless, like, I just have, like, one client that, like, I always do the makeup or whatever. Like, then I would use that foundation if, like, it needed, if they wanted that one. Because I love this foundation. I feel like this is literally an amazing foundation. 
like and i feel like so many people would actually like genuinely love this because as you see like it's not like this is no makeup this is with the makeup like this is giving like skin like and i love it so much and i feel like because Halsey, like she tested this. she is a musician she's an artist you know she's a performer so she knows like what you need to perform in you know when it comes to makeup because you don't want makeup that's not gonna last or it's gonna look crazy like 10 minutes into a performance like you can't dance you can't do nothing because it's gonna look crazy and like I got performances coming up I'm not gonna lie to you like I got things that I'm doing and it's like I have to have my makeup sitting and yeah like I just love that she created a product for like the people who like are performing like realistically like who need that long lasting who need something that they can trust won't well, like you know budge move whatever you want to say like well yeah that was just a little <laughs> little side note little side note but yeah i feel like for like dancers cheerleaders and stuff like that i feel like this probably would be a good like product just because one like the coverage is really nice and like i feel like especially for like younger performers and stuff like you don't necessarily want them like they don't necessarily need like full coverage like foundation on 24 7 like or whenever they're always performing because like you know it ain't always necessary like but i feel like this would be a great alternative for like foundation and stuff and there's so many different shades too and there's so many different undertones and that's why i love about it because like this is like my shade for real and i feel like with some foundations and like some brands and stuff like they they still not getting it right like like they are having like you know sometimes they have a little bit deeper range or maybe they'll have like 10 to 15 shades but like let's be for real what are we gonna do with 10 15 shades like that is no in no way is that going to you know cover either side of the spectrum you feel me so like for people who actually like take the time to create products that have a multitude of like shades and undertones i love that like i truly honestly do but now i'm moving on and i'm taking my kbd uh lightweight full coverage concealer in 10 167 and i'm trying to hurry up because Oh my god. But yeah. I picked this up from Ulta when I was out with Shay. We was <laughs> we went to Ulta and and we went to the spot store. And y'all know y'all know how I am about the spot store. Like I love the beast spot store. Like that is ooh. That's one of my favorite places I can't hold you. Like, it is one of my favorite places. Like, okay, but anyways, I'm I'm over here wearing my favorite what they all talking about. Uh, but yeah, I picked this up from Ulta. I also got a couple other things from Ulta when I went that time. And I'll have to show y'all. I don't know if I have anything yet. I don't have anything. Oh, the lash, the mascara I use, I'll show y'all. Her. Oh, my face gonna eat today. Ugh. This gonna eat for real. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take my Jador Cosmetics uh loose powder and I don't remember what shade this is. I'll have to let y'all know. I'll put it in like the description or whatever because baby I I do not know, like I genuinely can't remember what this is. Oh, that was too much, but now I gotta match it over here.
I can't wait for Kelly to drop that music. Like, oh my god. Oh, fun fact. I'm about to get tatted in like a couple weeks, and I'm so excited to get tatted. Like, y'all don't know. I have not, like, the last tattoo I got was, what was it? Mm -hmm. 2021 like january february 2021 yeah it's been a minute like and i know that like once i start this i'm gonna get so many different tattoos ignore the transition on my face right now take my Danessa Myricks uh evolution powder but uh but yeah, for real, for real, like, I'm gonna get tatted. Like, I'm getting three tattoos this time because the thing about me is, like, I like to get stuff done. Like, if I can get multiple things not done at once, I'm this type of girl. Like, when I got my first tattoos, I ended up getting two tattoos at the same time. And I came back, like, not too long after and got my third tattoo, uh, which is a snail. But I'm getting this vase inspired by, uh, the muses from hercules and then i'm getting this plum branch and i'm getting a four leaf clover because i'm a lucky as a motherfucker bitch <laughs> but for real for real, i'm very very excited i'm going to savannah i will like put their info like down below and i'll make sure i tag them when, like when i actually do get uh tattoos and stuff but yeah i'm very excited because i love their work like for real, for real i love it like that's the type of style like and i already know like i have other tattoos that like i want to get but the end of the year ain't no telling how many tattoos i'm gonna have like i'm i'm starting at three and i'm gonna get three more so i have six i probably have like i was about to say 30. <laughs> i don't know if i'm talking about juvia's place uh liquid blush in each rose and i'm just dabba 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 i don't even know what this is so much I really be wondering if, like, people I know be watching my videos because, like, and it's so funny because apparently some people do be watching my videos and they've been talking about it. And I just be like, y'all see that? <laughs> like, yeah, y'all be seeing what I'm doing. Like, I, I just be doing stuff and I just be, you know, it feels like I just be putting it into the void. <laughs> just because, like, I feel like there are people who, like, follow me and stuff but like they don't necessarily know me in real life and i feel like hold on i'm trying to focus i can't do two things at once right now but uh i just really was not thinking that like a lot of people who know me like for real for real like watch my stuff or like pay attention to what i be doing because i really just be doing this i just be doing whatever like like, I have goals and visions, and I'm just doing stuff, and then to see or hear people who I actually know, be like, oh, like, I see you doing this, like, she's really good, blah, 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 like, thank you, like, like, I'm for real, for, like, that, that makes a big difference, because I feel, for a long time, I felt, like, unseen, like, no one was really paying attention, so, like, to actually feel like people see me, and people see the work that I'm doing, like, it feels good, but yeah, I gotta reply to this, so I'll see y'all in a second. And this is the Jador Cosmetics, the Pretty Blush Edition. And I don't know what shade I'm going to do. I've used mauve, and I think I've used this one. I kind of want to do peaches. Or do I want to do custard? I kind of want to do custard and see how this looks like. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'll probably should have blended this out a little bit better. But. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I fuck with this. Yeah, and I feel like it, like, it deepens the look. Like, I love, like, I guess it's, like, a wine blush, but, like, it eats, like, I, and one thing about me, I love blush, like, I absolutely, like, I'm a blush girly, like, let's be for real. But, I'm gonna take my, uh, Beauty Bakery, uh, Snackaroons bronzer, and I think this is the shade, the Perfect Blend. I believe that's the shade. And yep, this is my favorite bronzer. Oh, I mean, you know, 
I'm willing to try other bronzers. I just need them to actually be deep enough for my face. I really want to try the Ram Beauty. Ram Beauty dropped like some bronzers and some blushes. And I've been looking at them. And I think it's like Strawberry Nebula. That blush. Mm, that blush is so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. Like I really, I want it so bad. Like I might, uh, I might have to do it. I might have to buy it. Like I'm not going to lie to you because it's so pretty. Like. And then I want to try, I think it's like coconut. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I want to try the coconut one. And then they have a bronze. Well, they have this blush shade and this bronzer shade. And like, they literally look like the identical. And like, I kind of want to see, are they identical? Because, I don't know. I just want to. But anyways, I need to hurry up. What am I doing next? What am I doing next? Oh, I was supposed to put this on. Definitely do that. Vision Flush Glow. So, I love this though. Like, because it just, it eats. All the places where I'm putting highlight. Y'all see? I'm gonna use this brush from the, uh, eyeshadow uh brush it and as you see like it's it literally gives you a glow like and i feel like it's a like it's very much highlighted but it's a glow i think i'm gonna do the rest on my hand with my finger i mean i'm gonna have to play with these brushes a little bit more because i feel like in order for you to use these brushes, you have to use them for like certain things or it's not gonna, like you're gonna literally mess up your makeup up. Can't even hold you. Cause just like, just the way they're made, they are very different and I love the creativity, but I need to make sure that this is gonna even like work, you feel me? But once again, these are my first impressions, you know, Sometimes my feelings change when it comes to like makeup products after like I tried them for a little bit. Sometimes I'm like, okay, this is kind of a vibe. Like, I need a highlighter. And the only highlighter I really have is like pigmented. Is this one. And this is the Glam Light uh, Hershey's. The Cookies and Cream Hershey's one. I feel like this gives a very like if you need like a tacky or like sticky base for like a highlighter like I feel like it's good you could like layer the two you know if that's something you're trying to do I'm like messing up my eyeshadow I'm not gonna hold you and I feel like it's because my concealer was not blended at my brow but it's too late now and I literally can't do shit. <laughs> Just freaking keep going. I don't know how I had to look on my forehead. So this is the black opal uh, state of day setting spray. This is like a mid home. This like comes out as like a mist. It's kind of crazy. Like I like it because I feel like this will definitely give you like a more even coverage. But like this, I me shook for a second. I really want to use this Danessa Myricks uh Bi Pride Infinite Chrome Flakes, and I feel like I'm gonna have to do the liner first. So I'm gonna do liner on my face. Wish me luck. And I gotta do like uh my mascara and whatnot. I'm trying to figure out what I want to necessarily do. I don't know. I feel like doing like a butterfly look.
So I'm literally just gonna take this like Q-tip and I'm gonna put the flakes above my eyes actually. Just because at first I was gonna do this with lighter, but then I realized that these are like actual like journal like these are like flakes for real and like who is finna like I I just mm -mm. but I really want to use this so Oop. the quality like I need the Sephora's in Memphis to like you know start carrying more of her products please and thank you. Okay, so I'm really finna call this a fucking day with this look. And I'm gonna do my lashes. I'm gonna take the I Envy uh, Mink Impact lashes in the shade, not the shade, the style three. I love, excuse me, I love this brand. Oh, I forgot, I'm supposed to be doing like, I gotta do my liner and stuff. I'm over here tweaking. Okay, for mascara, I'm taking the KVD Full Sleeve Mascara and look at the, I can't even show y'all right now because I got to get my life together. But I love the packaging. So I'm taking the uh, Manic Gems Lash Glue. Well, it's not even necessarily lash glue. Like, it's really like glue for like if you do uh, the rhinestones and stuff. But I'm gonna use it for my lashes today. I want to put some rhinestones on. This is like the Manic Gems. This is the Mermaid Dreams collection with Flint. So I bought this a while ago and I really have not had the chance to just play with it. But I wanna do like a rhinestone like right there. Yeah, I feel like we are almost done with the look once I put on my lashes. Okay, I think underneath my eye, going in with my About Face Shadow Stick in the shade uh, Kill the Lights. Well, I gotta get another one. Same mascara. I think I'm actually gonna leave my hair like this. But I'm gonna put on my uh my J Adore Cosmetics like plumping lip gloss. Uh I'll put it down below. But this is the final look. I have to go, y'all. But I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye. What's up y'all? So I'm gonna, you know, drive to go see my friend. And I'm excited as fuck. But yeah, I just wanted to come and talk to y'all real quick. Bye.